Florida families are being urged to check their Medicaid status this morning. In just a matter of weeks, more than a million families could lose coverage as pandemic era federal funding comes to an end. CBS 12 News reporter Stephanie Valderrama is joining us live now in studio. Steph, Palm Beach County officials are gearing up to help many of these local families. Yes, that's right. Good morning, Matt and Sam. So for families that might not qualify for Medicaid, county officials can help them find other alternatives so that they can continue to receive medical care. For families that do qualify, you're going to want to make sure all your paperwork is submitted and up to date so there's no lapse in coverage. But in order for local officials to help you, they're going to have to be able to determine your eligibility. And there are many reasons why people could lose Medicaid, including changes to income, job status or household size. And that's also why someone might now qualify. As you mentioned, during the pandemic, the federal government made it so those on Medicaid had continuous coverage. Well, that ends at the end of July. And now families will got, have to go through the steps to requalify every month. Now, the process can certainly be challenging for lower income families who might not have access to a computer, reliable transportation, or stable housing. Others may even be facing the challenge of having a language barrier. And that's where this county bus comes in. It travels around Palm Beach County to make it simple for people to check their Medicaid status and also complete paperwork. It also provides many other services like tutoring for kids, life skill training, and also job assistance. What we want to do is make sure that uh, people who normally wouldn't gain access through the normal channels, that they can come, they can walk in, they can get the help that they need. Well, it's critical for families, especially those with children, to ensure that they have medical coverage. Andrea Stevenson, the CEO of the Health Council of Southeast Florida, explains many times these kids end up sick in emergency rooms for preventable illnesses. What we know is that when people don't have health insurance, um, they forego some of the preventative and the, um, you know, the, the wellness type, you know, checks that are really important to keep you healthy, um, so that you don't let things fall by the wayside. And at, then, you know, at a later point, you're dealing with something that is perhaps a bit more serious. We realize this is a lot of information to digest, so we're going to actually make it really easy for you. I'm sharing this on my Facebook page. You can search Stephanie Val Valderrama CBS 12. It's also going to be on our website here soon, and if you don't have access to the Internet, I want you to take a look at your screen right now. This is the number to call if you need any information. 833-CSD-WILL. Hi, I'm Sam Kerrigan for CBS 12 News. Click the like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.